So one of the things that makes me really grumpy, really, really grumpy, is the misinformation that exists about herbal safety. And the problem with Dr. Google now is this has been magnified to another order of level and to the problem where in the past we had the patient coming in who was uninformed about herbs and indeed herbal safety, but now they come in and they're misinformed about herbs and in no greater area are they misinformed than on the issue of herbal safety. So quite often you get into a lengthy debate and explanation which wakes you wastes your time, the next patient's waiting, you're already behind, just reassuring the patient that the stuff they put online is patent nonsense. And credible websites, so-called credible websites that have drug information, you know, uh, drug safety information, people go to, when you go for the herbal safety information, it's a pile of garbage. And one can only hope that they're, uh, uh, that they're more diligent with their drug information because drugs are potentially dangerous and have side effects than, than with their herbal safety information because honestly, they have stuff there that I cannot even figure out where it comes from. And clearly, they haven't bothered to read authoritative texts, which, yeah, another thing that makes me grumpy, I happen to have written a few, with co-written with Simon Mills, they clearly aren't referring to them. Is it a prejudice against me because I'm a herbalist? I'm not a, well, I am a scientist. So what, where's the prejudice coming from of not using authoritative tricks and just making it up yourself from secondary references? It's it's baffling, you know. When when we thought we wrote, wrote when we wrote, especially the essential guide to herbal safety, Simon Mills and I, we thought it would get a huge uptake by pharmacists and medical practitioners who were, would use it for reliable information about the safety of herbs. Not, never happened.